Okay, so for this problem, it says that a company must pay liabilities of a thousand at the end of year one, and X at the end of year two. And these investments are available so one year zero coupon bonds with a yield of five and two year coupons with a par value of a thousand and ten percent coupon bonds with annual fund exit for that company constructed board that creates an exact ex cash method for these liabilities. The total purchase price of this portfolio is this amount. Okay, so one example what portfolio are we actually talking about? We're talking about the portfolio of the investments, right? So what we're going to do is that we're going to set up an equation to set the portfolio equal to the total purchase price. So we had at least find out the amount invested in the one year zero coupon bond occurring in statement one. So we're going to set the purchase price of this portfolio equal to what's happening here. So we don't necessarily know what cash flows are being dealt with these statements. So we're just going to label the one year bond as A and the two year bond as B. So for A, uh, since it's the duration of only one year, we're going to with the field of 5%. We're going to take A and we're going to discount it by 1.05, right? Uh, plus uh, B, right? Um, we know that there are 10% annual coupons occurring every year. So what is 10% of 1,000? It's going to be 100, right? So 100 would occur in the first year, right? And we discount it by uh, 6% by one year. Plus, um, so there's a hundred coupon here, and but it's only for two years. So you you know what happens towards the end with the coupon of redemption is also covered. So it would be a hundred plus the thousand par, right? Over one point zero six squared, right? Now we wanna solve for this equation. Okay, so. Uh, we could do 1 divided by 1.05, which is 0.95238092A plus B. 100 divided by 1.06, which is 94. Point three three nine six two plus eleven hundred divided by one point zero six squared, which is nine seventy eight point nine nine. I'm gonna combine it with this one. So plus ninety four point three three nine six two. I get one thousand. 73.3357B, right? Now, uh, we want to find out the amount invested in the one year zero coupon bond, right? So, we also just want to set up a different equation so we could get either the of either of these variables by itself. Uh, most specifically um, A, right? So we're going to focus at time one, and we know that at time one, an equation of, well, based on cash flows, not um, not effective yields included, that in time one, A, a zero coupon bond of A, right, plus a zero coupon bond of B with the coupon of 100, we'll set it, we'll exactly match the liability of 1,000. Now you want to get B by itself, right? So we're going to subtract A, right? And then we're going to divide 100. And then we're going to do 1,000 divided by 100, which is going to be 10. And then 1 divided by 100, which is 0 0.01. 
uh, a, right? Now we're able to, so this equals b, right? So we're, in, we're able to input this uh, equation as b, so we cross out b. So we'll just have this equation times 10, uh, times uh, 1073, uh, 3357, right? And then, uh, yeah, so uh, another thing is that, yeah, I'm gonna erase some things. I don't have any space. Okay, so do this plus the previous that we got before, right? Now we'll just solve. So I'm gonna distribute this, right? I'm gonna do 1073. Ten seventy three dot three three five seven uh times ten which is one zero seven three three dot three five seven so I'm also gonna do one zero seven three dot three three five seven times point zero one which is uh minus uh ten dot seven Three, 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 five, seven. Okay. Um, seven. Uh, a. Right. Then I'm gonna combine this and this. So I'll do point nine five two three eight minus uh ten. Point seven three 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 five seven. I get negative nine point seven eight zero nine seven seven a right uh right plus the this amount and we set it equal to the Purchase price of the portfolio for well, 1783.76, right? So we're gonna move this to the other side. So I'm gonna do 1783.76 minus uh, 10733.357 and divide it by negative 915 as A. Now another thing here is that um, we also want to find out the amount invested, right? So uh, if we're if 915 is known to be the cash flow of A, we're going to have to discount it by its effective yield to find out how much it was invested at time zero. So we're going to divide this by 1.05. And we're going to end up getting 871.42, which makes C the answer.